The 3D printed parts come out with a rare, fairly rough surface as you can see here, but cleaning it up is pretty easy. You just take some 150 or I think this is 180 grit sandpaper and you just want to sand it really roughly until you get all the lines out of the part. Okay, we've got it sanded down to this point which we think is going to be good enough for our demo. The next step is to apply a little bit of acetone to the surface and that will produce a nice shiny reflector for us. Okay, just as little as we can get on here. Now what you want to do is take it, you want to make sure you knock out any acetone that may have filled in the hole. Uh, that will produce like a thin layer of plastic that's uh, kind of hard to work with so I just just knock anything out of the holes there you can see already it's got a pretty shiny surface on it put a, I'm gonna put a little bit more on here okay knock it out okay yeah you, that's gonna come out really good hopefully you can see this and that's all there is to it the next step is just gonna be to apply some chrome paint to it and uh, we'll be all all set One other comment before we start painting it. The acetone melts the plastic and it does it really instantly. You don't really want to set the part down on your cardboard. Uh, it'll just bond. The plastic will melt and just stick right to whatever you set it down to. It's better to keep it in your hands. Just let it air dry. Uh, we're wearing a glove. Just to try and keep it off of our skin. Uh, definitely do this in a well ventilated area and you work with the acetone. Uh, okay, with that, let's go ahead and hit it with our chrome, our spastics chrome paint. Looks like this. This is really good stuff. You can get a really, really high gloss, shiny surface on here. One other comment. Uh, this is already dry. You, we can feel it. It dries very, very rapidly. And that shiny surface that you see, that's basically the surface that we're going to get with our paint. And that's it. There you go.